What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're going to be looking at Wukong. The guy is an absolute menace in Live Arena and he's becoming one of my favourite champions. Uh, I'm so glad Polarium let us all get him for free. Um, but yeah, such an amazing champion. And I feel like there's two ways to build him. So either to go for full control, CC um, Wukong like I've gone, or just nuke. You need to go full nuke. Um, but yeah, both builds are completely viable. He is just an insane champion. I wish they'd let us have two, but obviously that would just be absolutely broken. Uh, but yeah, such, such a good champion. So skills, passive. Basically, you can't keep a good monkey down. This guy is just going to keep reviving all day long. And how it works is basically three turns happen that includes your turns as well as the enemy and then he'll just come back and he can just start popping off again his a3 it strips it steals and it places block buffs just an insane ability um his a2 will ignore defense and it's also gonna throw out a sheep debuff as well his a1 is also throwing out stuns too just such an amazing kit it really is um, masteries, um, this is what I've gone for, for CC Wukong, obviously, if you're going to go offensively, then of course you're taking Hell Smasher and all that stuff, but yeah, like I said, both builds are absolutely amazing, and he is just all over Arena right now, so I'm going to talk you through all the different ways to counter this cheeky little monkey. So first off, we're going to start off with my girl, it's Rhonda, and do you know what? I slept on this champion. She is an absolute monster. She hits like a truck, um, but she's also got an amazing A2. So we've got block passive skills and it cannot be resisted. Uh, this also counters Rotos as well as Wukong. And what will happen is we're going to take him out and he's not going to be able to revive. However, um, if they've got a reviver on the team like Pytheon, like Duchess, or any of the other revivers, they can revive him, he will come back, and his passive will still continue. So it's a good way to counter him, but it's not going to keep him down unless they do a revive. The next champion we're going to look at is Romantu, and there's only two champions in the game right now that have uh, block passive skills, and it's uh, Ronda and Romantu. So Romantu, you know, everyone can get this champion. Of course, you do need to get in gold tag arena for this, but he is definitely worth the work. And obviously it's going to take a long time to get there, but he's still relevant in the game and he is an amazing, amazing champion. There's another champion that's sort of similar, doesn't quite fall in this category, but it's Lydia and it's her passive and she basically can deny um, when the enemy tries to get revived. That includes Wukong's passive. However, this is on a seven turn cooldown, so it is quite long. What's good about it though, is if your teammates are dead, Wukong tries to pop back up, you block it, your teammates come back, they get to go again, and you can just go to town on the enemy. So she's still a really good answer to Wukong. However, I do feel like she's sort of fallen off a little bit. Some people may disagree with that, but um, she's got an okay kit. Um, you know, she's got block buffs, she's got block active skills, um, single target, and then AoE, you know, decrease defense, weaken, also strengthen, increase speed. They are nice debuffs and buffs. But um, yeah, I just feel like with stone skin and stuff, she's not, she's not the best option. So the best way, personally, I feel like to take out Wukong is block revive. And we're going to be the first of looking at Foley. So Foley definitely has not been in the meta for a long time. However, I feel like he's making a comeback. Um, I definitely, mine's currently naked, but I do want to rebuild him, do a guide on him, an updated guide. And yeah, because not only can he counter Wukong, but if they've got any squishy champions on the enemy team, and you know, a lot of people, you know, I think 90% of the fights I'm in, they are bringing in a reviver. And Foley counters that. So he's got an AoE attack and any enemies killed by this cannot be revived. 
that is a very strong ability. And like I said, you can just end the game right there and just take out any squishy targets, including Wukong. And that's it. It's game over. Also, he's got a really nice passive. Stun, freeze, sleep, provoke. If they put this debuff on this champion, he will instantly remove it, heal himself, and then boost his turn meter by 50%. So this is really, really good. Um, it just means that you can cut in and, you know, just drop the enemy team and that's it. However, just to mention as well, because of that sleep and freeze, he's a great counter to Tormin and Prince Kaimar as well. The next champion, um, Anithui, this guy used to be absolute trash. Polarium gave him a huge buff and he became relevant. And, he, you know, the only problem is, though, he's a Void Legendary, so harder to get than Foley. But an absolute beast. Uh, I've had problems with him in Live Arena. And his passive, basically, if he kills any champions, they could not be revived. Hard hitting AoE hit. Um, uh, absolute insane A2. And then a nice A1 as well. So, yeah. And I'm going to give, uh, you know, the sort of early to mid game players, the free to plays like myself. This is another good way to count on the monkey. And it's Fanex, or as I like to call him, FedEx. Um, so he's got a really strong A1. In fact, it's almost the strongest hard hitting A1 in the game. And ideally you want to bring someone in that's going to throw debuffs. Because if there are any debuffs on the target, he'll double hit. And anyone killed by this skill cannot be revived. So obviously this is a great counter to Wukong. Um, but I would say you want to bring in like a reviver and maybe a support champion that can help him stay alive. But once you kill Wukong, that's it. And then he can start picking off the enemy one by one and you'll get that W. But yeah, FedEx, great champion, really underrated. But yeah, he is he is a boss. And do you know what? If you've got like a counterattack champion like Valkyrie or Marta, um, you know, he can just keep smacking people with that A1 as well. Such a great ability. So the next way we're going to counter Wukong is with Ultimate Death Knight. And what you're going to do is you're going to put him in full stone skin, lots of HP, lots of defense, and then as much resistance as possible. This means he can eat all of the sheeps all day long and keep Wukong under wraps. The other thing is, though, that's not going to stop Wukong's A3. So what you need to bring in is another um, a cleanser also in high resistance that can cleanse the team and that's it you'll beat that wukong um just to say as well wukong especially nuki kong and oma death knight are an insane combo it is really toxic and hard to deal with you put them together you know the team they're they're doing big boy damage they've used their aoe abilities they've taken out wukong he comes back and then they've only got their single target hitting abilities and Ultimate Death Knight will just eat all of that up. Wukong will just turn around and just drop the enemy team. Like Nuki Kong, the damage is insane. And yeah, he is just a beast. So yeah, really nice little combo that you can use as well. And then the last way that I can think of to be Wukong. And you know, if there's any champions or, you know, any other tricks and tips or ways that you have to beat Wukong, drop a comment below, let, you know, share some love, let people know what you're doing, but it's Basher, so put in the enemy skills on cooldown with his A2, it's an AoE ability and it will increase the target skills, uh, you know, turns by two, so, you know, that means that Wukong can only use his A1, making him pretty useless, but hopefully if you've got enough accuracy, it's going to knock out the rest of the team as well, making them completely useless, and it's a real shame because Basher is a really good champion and people just sleep on him and he doesn't really get used that much. I don't see him that often, but he's still a great champion. Obviously, the better version of him is Yumiko and Warlord. Uh, both are, you know, top tier champions for Arena. Um, I would give the edge to Yumiko because of her passive. So she places a perfect veil on herself for two turns at the start of each round. She is immune to all debuffs while under veil or perfect veil. So this is really, really strong. You know, Hegemon, Tormund, um, she'll counter them. They're not going to stop her. 
And just any sort of champion that does route debuffs, she's going to completely ignore it. She has probably one of the best A3s in the game. Decreases the cooldown of all ally skills by three turns. So obviously that means that our teammates can go again, go ham and just do damage. But then also we're going to increase the enemy's um, skills turn down. Uh, sorry, the enemy's skills by three turns as well. And that will just completely screw over the enemy team. One thing I do want to know is because I don't have Yumiko, so I'm not sure about this. I don't know if it's going to put Wukong's passive, um, like lock it down so he can't revive. So if you do know, drop a comment below, let us know. I've got a feeling it won't because, because of the way the passive is. I think it will still proc, but it'd be good to know. But yeah, but like I said, I definitely give the edge to Yumiko over Warlord, but still both of them are game changing champions. But that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. I hope this helps you beat that cheeky monkey whenever you run into him in arena. Uh, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.